So I wanted to make a quick unscripted video about the state of how pathing and unit movements and stuff like that is right now. All this stuff is subject to change, but the past few days I went through in the scenario editor here and just kind of came up with a few observations of how units move. So basically that's what we're going to be looking at in this short video. So basically here we have some crossbowmen here and it's basically like 2-2 two -two crossbowmen versus the 2-2 uh, knights. Two -two just like full upgrades in, in Castle H you could say. So I'm just going to be microing these uh, knights back and you'll see different techniques that you can do to micro backwards. And so yeah, I made up this little uh, text file. So first off, we are just going to look at a few differences between uh, the different stances. So aggressive and defensive stance. Um, here, let's, let me just move these guys out of the way for a sec. So aggressive stance, defensive stance. What units do is when they, when you patrol in or whatever, like you just go into attack. What they do is see, look, they make this little line, right? So they they all try and they all try and find their spot. That's like normal behavior, right? But say that you you stand ground. Now suddenly, if you see, they don't make that line. They stack on top of each other. So sometimes that could be used in certain situations. It might be better to, uh, instead of the the whole line thing. Um, sometimes you want your units a little bit closer, stuff like that. It'll, you know, reduce the surface area when you're fighting on a hill or whatever. You wouldn't want to have, like, some of your guys off the hill, some of the guys on the hill. Like, say that my guys were up here. I wouldn't want to have, like, a whole um, line of guys like this. I might want to have them just um, grouped up or something like that. Uh, so, anyways, th there's different ways. Um, prob probably, like, the most uh, common way would be something like Step Lancers. Like, if you're, if you're going to try and get in to the opponent's base, like you could use it, um, you know, Step Lancers being on stand ground. It, it might be a little easier to get them to stack, like that. Maybe you don't have a lot of space. Maybe you want to have them to stack, right? So then you have all of them attacking at once, really easy. Um, so yeah, it, it's pretty useful. So yeah, now that we know kind of how those two stances work, let's move on to the different ways that you can micro the crossbowmen against knights. So there's six different ways that I uh, writ down, wrote down here. So first up, what we're gonna be doing is the focus fire micro. So this is um, a pretty good way to micro. Here, let's uh, get these knights just to come in, uh, come at me. You'll see though, notice when I do this micro, yeah, we we're able to actually like shoot stuff down. You can see that every step I take, my units kind of do like a little jiggle and they don't actually move. So they, they just regroup and they don't end up gaining any distance. And that's a problem because you need to be kiting these knights back. You need to be moving for a long time. Otherwise they're going to um, surround and take you out, right? You don't want that. So instead of going for the focus fire micro, Focus Fire is good in some situations when you are, say, going to pick off a few units and then, like, they don't actually have enough so they're going to run away, but you want to actually kill them and not, like, allow them to run back home and heal, something like that. Um, it, it's still good, but it's not as good as Attack Move Micro. So we're going to do Attack Move Micro next. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I guess I should read this out. So, like, all units attack at the same time for Focus Fire. And that means that, you know, you don't have di units attacking at different times. We'll get into uh, micro where that actually happens later on. Units regroup to the front to the back so they don't move very far. That's not very good. More overkill sometimes because uh, due to the attacking the same unit. But, of course, actually finishing off your units can reduce your opponent's DPS earlier. So it can be good. So attack move. Let's see how attack move works. Um, we've got these coming in. And you'll see that attack move we actually oh these guys didn't end up playing. attack move actually seems to be pretty good we gain a lot more distance each step which makes the, the knights bug out a little bit more because of pathing 
So we're able to actually get some more shots off. And the Knights can't really engage. Like a good player might be re-patrolling and stuff like that. But the fact that you can move further with each step means that the enemy has to constantly like be doing something. Um, it's a lot harder for them to engage. So you can see that by the end of this fight, we get all the way to the end here pretty much. And we actually win the fight. Whereas Focus Fire, we, we kind of got owned, right? It's the same numbers. So yeah, attack move, actually insane still. And it used to be even stronger before they nerfed it because uh, your guys used to actually attack instantly. Now they attack with a bit of a delay. But uh, anyways, so let's take a look at the notepad again here. We have, um, yeah, so for attack move, units move further each tile before regrouping, uh, or because no regrouping. Yeah, they didn't jiggle at all, which is great. All units attack at the same time, just like focus fire, which is good. So it's like focus fire, except for that uh, your dudes actually move further. Less overkill, which can be good in a lot of situations. And the units move away in a horizontal formation. So we'll get into that in a sec. Due to delay in the attacking, you can't get the full DPS of the thumb ring. So yeah, um, like thumb ring, thumb ring, it attacks at a pretty, pretty fast rate. So if we take a look at, like, say that we have, um, like, we just have like one guy attacking, right? And he's kind of in this rhythm. It, it's really hard to keep up. Because the delay just happens to be just, just like a little bit... Oh, it's like really hard to do. And definitely impossible with uh, Ethiopians. Like we have a pretty good rhythm going here. But it's like very precise. And if you mess up, say that you're too fast. Like your guys just kind of... Even if you mess up once, they get stuck on this reload thing. Like, where they're, they're just, like, not firing. So. See. It, um, it's it's kind of sketchy. So, you have to be, like, really perfect with this attack move micro. Uh, but, you know, just practice and you can get better. So, the next thing here is patrol. We have units move further each tile because no regrouping. That's just like attack move. All units stack at the same time, just like attack move. Less overkill, just like attack move. But the main difference is that units move away in a vertical formation always, which leads to bunching up tighter. Which, uh, mm, I mean, it kind of isn't good against the knights because the units in the back, they get picked off. So watch this. So you know how when you click 10 tiles away, then your units go into a vertical formation. So like this, they go vertical. And once once they get into ten within 10 tiles, then they go horizontal. Makes sense. Vertical, once they get to around 10 tiles, which is like here, there you go, then they go horizontal. But if you go patrol, it doesn't matter what distance you're at, they will always go vertical. So they always go vertical. So if you want to move your guys around in like a vertical a vertical loop or whatever like this you can do that with patrol and they actually they don't like regroup or anything they just move so kind of cool you can think of different ways um ways to use that but uh you know they have to be in patrol so you know you, you might if you want to actually move like that without your guys attacking you would have to uh use no attack stance you'd have to uh no attack stance and then patrol then they would actually move without um without attacking but anyways so if we take a look at attack move attack move look they move like a movement command so if, if you do it 10 tiles away like say i do it down here they will move in that vertical so just like movement command so attack move moves your guys like movement command um and that can be useful because look we can we can kind of keep them in this this uh vertical or sorry uh horizontal formation which can sometimes be pretty good I mean, we can see we have a little bit of regroups around the around the edges. We've got like some of them kind of bugging out a little bit, but uh, you know, uh, you'll find that a lot of these mechanics are very bugged, which is why I'm making this video because uh, yeah, nothing really works intuitively in this game. So yeah, patrol always vertical. Attack move horizontal. That's the biggest difference. That's actually that's basically like the only difference other than patrol makes them go back and forth. All right, so let's look at patrol micro. And you'll see that it's very similar to attack move micro, but they kind of like, they bunch up into the center every single time that they attack. 
and they don't end up regrouping quite as much with this, which actually you kind of want a little bit of regrouping because it, it cycles the weak ones to the back, which can be good. So, like, you don't really get that with attack move either, although sometimes with attack move they do uh, put the weak ones in the front. I mean, it, it still happens with patrol here. So, patrol micro and attack move, very similar. But I think that overall, from my testing, attack move is just a bit better. Just... I've had much better results, or at least slightly better results, with attack move. I think we, we had 11 at the end of uh, attack move as well, so... I mean, it's basically pretty similar. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of... Um, a little bit of error in just, just the fact that every time that I micro them is slightly different. Um, but I think that attack move is... Just superior to patrol. Oh yeah, also, units that are close to enemy units and buildings will get stuck and, and not shoot sometimes. So that's not very fun. Um, if we take a look at these dudes here, uh, we will see that in action. So say that we are patrolling near a, a building. So say that there's like a... Say that, uh, here, let's get into the where this barracks is. Say that we patrol. Oh, well, here, let's get them all to attack at the same time, at least. There. How much damage are we doing per hit? We're doing 22. That means only 22 of my guys. That means three of the guys are not firing. And they will never fire. Because they are bugged. So if we hit the stop command, then yeah, we'll get those three to start firing. It's the same with attack moves. That was patrol. With attack move. You know, this time, what do we have? What is that? That's 24 attacking. So we have only one guy bugged this time. But sometimes it's really bad. Like, sometimes you have actually just, like, a lot not firing. Like, those guys walked, like, super far. You see, there's one guy, he's just, like, stuck, right? So that's that's the issue with um, attack, move, and patrol. Sometimes you have to be careful when you're in, like, a choke. So, if you are in a choke point and you're doing um, attack move or patrol, just hit the stop command one time and you will get the guys who are trying to like walk somewhere but they can't move. Uh, you'll get them to just attack. It's it's just something that you sometimes have to do to get that full DPS. Uh, okay, so the next one is here. So, we have the stop command where you just press stop to make your guys fire. So, we have basically the worst of all worlds with stop. The units fire at different times, which is bad. Units don't move as far when issuing because we're using the movement command. Or, using units don't move as far when issuing the movement command. So, uh, just like regular um, focus fire. And then, yeah, just, this is bad. This is bad. I'll show you why it's bad. You will see. Watch this engagement. It's it's going to be brutal. Okay, let's get the... Uh, oh, one more in there. So, basically, stop command. Like, they barely move because of the movement command. And then they're all, like, attacking at different times. They don't all attack at the same time. They get kind of bugged out. So, we killed, like, two knights there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's just really bad. Ooh, we killed three. Amazing. Um, so yeah, don't, don't use the stop command in this situation. Stop command can be good for, like, hand cannoneers, um, because they have a lower rate of fire, and it seems like the, they tend to attack at the same time when you use hand cannoneers against stuff, uh, when I was testing, but it's like, yeah, when you're using crossbowmen, it's just not gonna be good. Um, and, I mean, for hand cannoneers too, you might as well just use attack move, because it does the same thing, but then you also, you also get to move further with each movement command, so it's, like, way better. Um, okay, so this other one I was thinking about when I was lying in bed the other day, I was like, hmm, maybe this could be really good, actually. It's really easy to do, actually. Um, so take a look at this. So the idea is that we have no attack stance. So we can use, we can use no attack stance. I, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I have the game on a no AI, but the AI still does stuff sometimes. It's like hard coded in. Um, okay. Sure. 
that's fine. Um, so, basically the idea here is you switch between no attack stance and one of the other stances while you um, patrol backwards. If we take a look, it's actually pretty cool. So what we do is we patrol back. We patrol back on no attack stance. And then all we have to do... Is... Just switch stances to attack. But you can see how sometimes they don't always fire, and then it gets a little bugged when you get near the flag. So your units don't all fire at the same time sometimes. That's the problem. See, they get a little offset when the knights get in on them. And then when they get close to the flag, it's kind of bad. And you, of course, you have to patrol pretty far away. So maybe in the future, maybe in the future, if they fix uh, a little bit of pathing, I will, um, I'll test this one again. I think it's a good idea, but yeah, it just doesn't really work in practice because uh, of the way that um, when you change the stance, not all of your guys will attack at the same time. Looking at the final thing. The to test would be self guard, which actually is really good in terms of they fire at the same time, so kind of like attack move. But the problem is that you have to issue a movement command afterwards. So yeah, I mean when you attack move, you issue a movement command as well. But like the fact that you do did an attack move and then did the movement command somehow like makes it makes your units move a bit further. So uh, it's like not as bugged, whereas. The um, the guard micro, you'll see it doesn't it doesn't have that effect unfortunately. This would have been the easiest way to do it, but you'll see. So basically, we'll let them get in close and guard your self guard to make them fire. It's really like good. Oh, we had we had four guys go back, but anyways, you'll you'll see. I mean, you can kind of already see that. Uh, you know, it's you, you guys just don't really move very far, which is bad. Obviously, if those other four were in here, they would have uh, they would have killed me. But uh, you know, if we switch to attack move midway, like look, we actually gain some distance here with the attack move. Just what for whatever reason, you attack move and then you start moving further. So um, yeah, the the self guard. It it's maybe the fastest way to get that initial attack. So like say that um, say that you're like. Uh, Maybe attacking enemy enemy stuff. Say that your opponent has a bunch of stuff. Instead of um, instead of attack moving, like you could try and get a first shot by doing like um, like guard micro. So if he doesn't have ballistics or something, like you could you could go like that to shoot fast, and it, it could be good because your guys shoot instantly. Whereas like with attack move micro, they have to walk for. A pace or whatever it doesn't really make too much of a difference but if you really want to shoot like instantly be like pop and then go the self guard can be pretty good because it, it's like it's fast as focus fire right like focus fire is there but with focus fire you actually have to like you have to actually have skill and like click the enemy unit you want where self guard is just like you click one of your own units and it's really easy uh, a couple of little little nuancey things here is that self guard guard when you self-guard, you won't attack buildings, as you can see. So you won't attack buildings with guard. Um, that's uh, easy to understand, but you will attack units, as you can see. But there's another command that's similar to self or to, to guard, and that's follow. So if we if we follow, then suddenly, oh here, let's get them not attacking. Suddenly, um, your units don't attack anything unless they're already attacking something. So, yeah, like follow kind of, it just makes the units follow, the, the thing that you you follow. But um, they, they will never attack anything. So, yeah, I mean, guard is kind of good. Where are they even going? They're not even, <laughs> they, that's so weird. Did you guys see that? They weren't even like, they were like flying. They were not even, um, look at this movement. Oh man, uh, follow is super bugged. Nobody uses this command, but like, holy moly, that's like Omega bugged. So in conclusion, 
You should use attack move when you are when you're kiting with crossbowmen against knights. Um, actually, I should show another another thing. Like uh, the reason why another reason why you'd want to gain some um, some distance is when the opponent has mangonels with their knights, which is pretty common. Like. You need to gain some distance against this, because, like, say that we're using Focus Fire Micro. Say that we're going Focus Fire. So we're, like, Focus Firing. And we're trying to get, like, maximum DPS. Look, like, the Mangonels move faster than Crossbowmen. They actually move faster than Crossbowmen when you're doing this kind of Micro. Like, it's so bad. So you can't do Focus Fire Micro anymore because of uh, Regroup, which they... They made worse when, um, it was the patch when they made attack move worse, but they also made it so that you couldn't spam click to, like, go faster. You used to be able to, like, any unit that was split up, when you, when you would spam click, like, they would, they would speed up to catch, catch the group. But nowadays, actually what your group does is it slows down to the speed of the, the slower unit, or at least it, like, slows group down when you um, are regrouping so it's like really bad or or if you have like a group and you want to go somewhere like a lot of the time your units will just like <laughs> they'll just regroup and th they'll like go backwards to, to group instead of just like walk towards the target so um yeah it's really bad but yeah like so say say that there's this it doesn't even matter how many mangonels because the mangonels will never catch me when i'm using attack move micro so like with attack move micro the mangonels will never catch because I'm actually moving at a far distance here. So this is this is the superior way to micro um, at in the current patch. Yeah, the mangonels like they don't even see they don't even see anymore. That's how far away I am. So yeah, um, I think that's all I have to say. So hopefully this was useful. If you have any comments, just leave them in the comment section down below and um yeah i'm hoping that they fix unit movement that would be great maybe reduce a few of the bugs that are in the game that would be awesome and uh you know we don't need starcraft level unit movements but uh yeah it's just like the units are so clunky right now